Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm going to be answering here question number five from the Mechanics M1 um, International A level at Excel June 2020 exam. 2021 exam, sorry. And this question here that told us that in this question, I and J are perpendicular horizontal unit vectors. A particle P is moving with a constant acceleration. At 2 p.m., the velocity of P is 3i plus 5j kilometers per hour. And at 2.30 p.m., the velocity of P is I plus 7j kilometers per hour. So I guess from this, you can work out the constant acceleration of this particle. That's a very important um, little phrase here, I guess. Um, then it says, at time, capital T hours after 2 p.m., P is moving in the direction of the vector minus I plus 2j. Find the value of T. Okay, so we can see that... Um, between 2 p.m. and 2.30, we can work out some information that we need. So between 2 p.m. to 2.30, I'm going to consider that, that time frame there first. And we can find the acceleration of this particle. And that acceleration will be constant, so we can use it for other this second section here. And then hopefully answer the question. So between 2 p.m. and 2.30, as it's constant acceleration, the SUVAT equations will so will apply so we can say zuvat all right so we don't know the displacement the initial velocity here at 2 p.m is 3i plus 5j 3 5 the final velocity is at 230 is 1 7 so that's 1 7 i always like to use column vectors in my work the acceleration is what i'm going to find here and the time here is a half an hour so i know that v equals u plus a t that will be applying here because we need to find a we know u v and t all right so we can we don't want to find what a is so we got v which is one seven equals u which is three five plus a which we have to find times a half a times a half Okay, so if I sub if I subtract these two vectors, so one seven minus three five, so you have one seven minus three five equals a over two. So this gives you one minus three is negative two. Seven minus five is two equals a over two. So I multiply both sides by two. Therefore, the acceleration is going to be negative four and four. Okay, so you multiply both sides by two. That's your acceleration. So we know the con the acceleration. Now I can consider between 2 p.m. and capital T hours. So I know between 2 p.m. and when time equals T hours. Okay, so again, I can use SUVAT. It's constant acceleration. And this time, I know the acceleration already. Um, I, am, I don't know this. I know the initial velocity at 2 p.m. was, as before, 3.5. Now, the velocity at t hours is, well, we don't know the actual velocity, but we know that the, the direction of the vector of the particle is minus i plus 2j. So remember, velocity is a, a quantity, which is a vector quantity, which has a magnitude and a direction. So we know the direction. We don't know what the magnitude is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say it's going to be some multiple of that direction. So it's going in that direction. So it's going to be k times minus one two okay k times minus one two i j what minus one two okay so we can't say the velocity is equal to minus one two we don't know we don't know uh, what its magnitude is so we say some constant times minus one two acceleration as we just worked out is minus four four and time is capital t hours so i can use again v equals u plus a t that formula now in this case v is k times minus 1, 2. u is 3, 5. Okay, and acceleration is minus 4, 4. We know that now. And t is capital T. So we can form two equations. I'm going to use the i component, which is going to be the top, you know, the top of uh, the top component of these vectors. So k times a minus 1 is minus k equals 3 minus 4 t. 3 minus 4 times capital T. And then we've got k times 2 for the j components, that's 2k equals 5 plus 4 times t. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make uh, the k's the same coefficient 
um, so that I can eliminate the k because I'm going to use like simultaneous equation. So I multiply this by 2, this will give me minus 2k equals, this will be 6 minus 8 times t. Okay, so now I'm going to, sub, uh, in fact, add these two equations to get rid of the k's. That will be 0 equals 11 minus 4 times t. So then we can say 4t is equal to 11. Therefore, t is equal to 11 divided by 4, which is 4 goes into 11 two times and 3 quarters, so 2.75 hours. That's the answer to question part A, question 5 part A. Okay, so, you know, we, we basically found an equation for the velocity in terms of uh, capital T. And we know the velocity at that time is parallel to this vector. So it's K times this vector. Okay, so there's the answer for question part A. Um, I know that we're going to use this. We're going to use a, uh, we're going to be looking at the velocity of P in the second part of the question. So I'm just going to write down here. That the velocity of p in general is given by u, which is 3, 5, plus a, which is minus 4, 4, times t. That's for any time t. Okay, so we're going to probably be using that in the next part of the question. Okay, so I'll have that ready there. Okay, now for part b. Um, it tells us another particle q has velocity vq, kilometers per hour, at time t hours after 2 p.m., where VQ is minus 4 minus 2i plus mu plus 3tj, and mu is a constant. Given that there is an instant when the velocity of P is equal to velocity of Q, find the value of mu. Okay, so now we know that the velocity of Q is given by what they told us here. I'm going to write it as a column vector, minus 4 minus 2t. That's the i component. And you've got mu plus 3t is a j component. And we know that the velocity of p, okay, I already have it prepared here from the last from the, um, the last question we did. The velocity of p was given by 3, 5, that was its initial velocity when time was um, 2, 2 p.m., plus minus 4 times, minus 4, 4 times t. I think that was acceleration. Okay, so I'm going to write this in the same format as this with the i and j components kind of written as one vector. So I'll, put, I'll write this as 3 minus 4t and 5 plus 4 times t. So that's the velocity of p written in the same type of format. Now they've told us there is an instant when the velocity of p is equal to the velocity of q. So there's an instant when velocity of p and the velocity of q are the same. So I'm going to equate these two with each other. So I'll say that minus 4 minus 2t and mu plus 3t is equal to 3 minus 4t, 5 plus 4 times t. So we want to find the value of t first, for which they're equal, and then we'll be able to find the value of mu. So I can find the value of t using the i components, because uh, the only unknown is t here. So I have minus 4 minus 2t equals 3 minus 4t. Um, I can subtract, in fact, I can add 4t to both sides. So I'll have minus 2t plus 4t equals 3 plus 4. This gives me 2t equals 7. So t is equal to 7 over 2, which is 3.5 hours. I'll just write it at 7 over 2 for now. So t is equal to 7 over 2 hours. So when t equals 7 over 2 hours, then they are uh, going at the same velocity. Okay, so we can find mu is, we can now we can use the j components and that the fact that t is equal to 7 over 2. So we can say mu plus 3t equals 5 plus 4t. We know t is 7 over 2, so mu plus 3 times 7 over 2 equals 5 plus 4 times 7 over 2. And we can use this to find the answer now. So mu plus 21 over 2 equals 5 plus, they cancel, giving you 2, 2 times 7 is 14. So you're going to have mu is equal to 19 minus 21 over 2. So mu is equal to 19 minus, well, 38 over 2 minus 21 over 2. Just do it as a, so you've got 38 over 2 minus 21 over 2. 38 minus 21 
but you're going to have a 7, 17 over 2, therefore mu is equal to 8.5. It's just a constant, so there's your answer to question number 5, part B. Okay, so this is all about vectors. So other questions about, um, or from this paper, this particular paper here, can be found by clicking on the link that should appear at the end of the video in this area. Other questions about vectors from M1, you can find in the link that should appear somewhere in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And in the description of the video, you'll find links that take you to other papers that I have answered, P1, P2, P3, P4, S1, also some IGCSE papers, uh, especially from the Cambridge board um, for those. And um, thank you for watching. See you soon.